Hello everyone, you are welcome back to another session where we read the Bible. My name is Ulua Toyin. On this channel, we talk about life, living, principles of our Christian faith. We have sessions in worship and we also read portions from the Bible. Today we are reading from the book of Psalm, chapter 18, verses 1 to 50. 50 powerful, power-packed verses, and we will be reading from the Message Translation. So let's get straight into the Word of God. So we start from Psalm 18, verse 1. I'm reading from uh, the parallel New King James Version and Message Translation, but we're focusing only on the Message Translation. And like I always say, because it's my personal Bible, I have some markings, but they will not in any way distract us from the Word of God. A David song, which he sang to God after being saved from all his enemies and from Saul. Starting from verse one. I love you, God. You make me strong. God is bedrock under my feet, the castle in which I live, my rescuing knight, my God, the high crag where I run for dear life, hiding behind the boulders, safe in granite hideout. I sing to God, the praise lofty, and find myself safe and saved. The hangman's noose was tight at my throat. Devil waters rushed over me. Hell's ropes cinched me tight. Death traps barred every exit. A hostile world, I call to God. I cry to God to help me. From his palace, he hears my call. My cry brings me right into his presence, a private audience. Earth wobbles and lurches. Huge mountains shake like leaves, quake like aspen leaves because of his rage. His nostrils flare, bellowing smoke. His mouth spits fire. Tongues of fire dart in and out. He lowers the sky. He steps down. Under his feet, an abyss opens up. He's riding a winged creature, swift on wind wings. Now he's wrapped himself in a trench coat of black cloud darkness. But his cloud brightness bursts through, spraying hailstones and fireballs. Then God thundered out of heaven. The high God gave a great shout spraying hailstones and fireballs. God shoots his arrows, pandemonium. He hurls his lightnings, a rout. The secret sources of ocean are exposed. The hidden depths of earth lie uncovered. The moment you roar in protest, let loose your hurricane anger. From verse 16, but me, he caught, reached all the way from sky to sea. He pulled me out of that ocean of hate that enemy chaos, the void in which I was drowning. They hit me when I was down, but God stuck by me. He stood me up on a wide open field. I stood there, saved, surprised to be loved. God made my life complete. When I placed all the pieces before him, when I got my act together, he gave me a fresh start. Now I'm alert to God's ways. I don't take God for granted. Every day I review the way he works. I try not to miss a trick. I feel put back together and I'm watching my step. God rewrote the text of my life when I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. From verse 25, the good people taste your goodness. The whole people taste your health. The true people taste your truth. The bad ones can't figure you out. You take the side of the down and out, but the stock up, you take down a peg. Suddenly, God, you flood light my life. I'm blazing with glory, God's glory. I smash the bands of moridas. I vault the highest fences. What a God. His road stretches straight and smooth. Every God direction is road tested. Everyone who runs towards him makes it. From verse 31, is there any God like God? Are we not at bedrock? Is not this the God who armed me, then aimed me in the right direction? Now I run like a deer. I'm king of the mountain. 
He shows me how to fight. I can bend a bronze bow. You protect me with salvation armor. Then you hold me up with a firm hand. Caress me with your gentle ways. You cleared the ground under me, so my footing was firm. When I chased my enemies, I caught them. I didn't let go till they were dead men. I nailed them. They were down for good. Then I walked all over them. You armed me well for this fight. You smashed the upstart. You made my enemies turn tail, and I wiped out the haters. They cried, uncle, but uncle didn't come. They yelled for God and got no for an answer. I ground them to dust. They gusted in the wind. I threw them out like garbage in the gutter. From verse 43, you rescued me from a squabbling people. You made me a leader of nations. People I'd never heard of served me. The moment they got wind of me, they listened. The foreign devils gave up. They came on their bellies, crawling from their hideouts. Live God! blessings from my rock, my free and freeing God, towering. This God set things right for me and shut up the people who talked back. He rescued me from enemy anger. He pulled me from the grip of upstarts. He saved me from the bullies. Final two verses. That's why I'm thanking you, God, all over the world. That's why I'm singing songs that rhyme your name. God's king takes the trophy. God's chosen is beloved. I mean David and all his children, always. Amen, amen and amen. You know, praise God. As we're reading that song, praise God from whom all blessings flow. I just feel like this is just such a psalm that just reveals the faithfulness the power, the might of God to his children, regardless of sometimes the challenges, the situations, the enemy, the adversity that we face. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. You know, sometimes you read Psalms like this and you're just so aware of the faithfulness of God to his children. Psalm 18 just reminds me every time I read it and I do particularly love the message. Just the way it starts, I love you, God, you make me strong. That line alone is like, there are days when I, I just might be feeling a bit overwhelmed, you know, by things or by situations or by life. And all I need to say is, I love you, God. You make me strong. It is so comforting. It is so strengthening. Those first two lines of this psalm, I mean, it says it in different ways in different translations. The NKJV here says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength, and so many other translations, but this message always gets me. I love you, God. You make me strong. Amazing, amazing. And the psalm is so comforting. You know, he said in verse four, he says, the hangman's noose was tight at my throat. Devil's waters rushed over me. Hell's ropes cinched me tight. Death traps barred every exit. <laughs> When we read the Bible, picture, try to picture what the person is saying. Like, you know, the same way you, you watch a film or you read a novel and it's like an image. So imagine the depth. David was in the depths of problems and situations and the salvation of God came and he sat down and he penned these words, powerful psalm. And you go through from verses seven to 15. And you know, the thing about the message translation is that it bunches the verses together. In every other translation, it wouldn't bunch it like this, but the message sort of bunches uh, verses together. And you can see how seven to 15, God showed up. I mean, it's so dramatic. Imagine the most dramatic scene in like, I can't even compare it to any film, <laughs> like superhero film meets action film meets, seven to 15 just shows you the amazingness of God. He says, earth warbles and lurches, huge mountains shake like leaves. And he went on and on. Then God thundered 
out of heaven. The high God gave a great shout, spraying hailstones and fireballs. It's just, it's so dramatic. <laughs> it is so dramatic. One of the verses that I particularly like is verses 20 to 24. Mm. It's intense and I'm going to read it again. God made my life complete when I placed all the pieces before him. When I got my act together, he gave me a fresh start. Now I'm alert to God's ways. I don't take God for granted. Whoosh, every day I review the way he works. Ah, this was an active relationship. Imagine someone saying, every day I review the way he works. I don't, I'm not relying on yesterday's revelation of God because there's always something new to know. We can never see God finish. This relationship with God is so active, it's so alive, it's so present. It is present truth, it's not past tense. It's a present participle that continuously is present. Even if you prayed in the morning and you felt that you had a revelation of God, by afternoon something happens, it is a new revelation, it's a new dimension. Every day I review the way he works. I try not to miss a trick. He says, I feel put back together and I'm watching my step. God rewrote the text of my life. There's somebody watching this right now. God is rewriting the text of your life. Where you thought you were finished, where you thought the enemy had you, where you thought situations had kept you down, where you thought it was over is just the beginning and God is rewriting the text of your life. He says, when I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. And that is what we need to do. Like when you're down in the downest down, there's really nowhere else to go. So why not just like go up and look up? Verses 20 to 24, just amazing. And it goes on and on and on. And I also love verse 30, what a God. You know, when I read these verses sometimes, I read them with some dramatic effect because I just like, it's just like, oh my God, what a God. His road stretches straight and smooth. Every God direction is road tested. Everyone who runs towards him makes it. You can never fail. You can, I would say it again, you can never fail. Even what looks like failure to you can never be failure. You can never fail. Everyone who runs towards God makes it. And you saw that I underlined in my Bible, now I run like a deer. I'm king of the mountain. Such a powerful confession. And it goes on and on and on. And you know that part where he said, they cried uncle, but uncle's in God always makes me laugh. <laughs> oh my God. You know, every time I read, I'm just like, they cried uncle, but uncle didn't come. Like, I'm just like, <sighs> Our relationship with God is so beautiful, it's so fresh. And reading the Bible just always helps to put things in comfort, in perspective, sorry is what I meant to say. Reading the Bible always helps to put things in perspective and is always so comforting sometimes. I mean, you're going through something and even if you've not come out of it, you can say, hey, well, David penned this when he was saved from his enemies. Really, it's when you're still in your situation. And that is where you get the life from and it just helps you to stay the part, to stay the course, to stand steady, to stand strong, to stand straight and say, ah, he made it, I'll make it. And I love the end from verse 46 to 50. I love those verses. That's why I'm thanking you, God, all over the world. I'm singing songs. And if there's one thing that is very obvious in this um, psalm, even in, all, in most of the Psalms, but in this Psalm is the power of singing. In verse three, he said, I sing to God the praise lofty and find myself safe and saved. And he ended it again in verse 49. He says, that's why I'm thanking you, God, all over the, song, all over the world. That's why I'm singing songs that rhyme your name. <sighs> Amen. You should also read this in other translations, read it in the NLT, the NKJV, the Amplify. There's so many. It's a beautiful psalm. It's a beautiful psalm of salvation. It's a psalm of faithfulness. It's a psalm that would let you understand again the power and the might of this God we serve. God that will, he will scatter everything to come for you, to save you, to deliver you, to stand for you. That is the God that we serve. And I hope that if you're watching this and you're in any situation where you, sort of maybe feel abandoned by God or you just feel like God has not shown up for you. Let this Sam remind you that he is God that is for you 
and in the name of Jesus, no one, nothing, no situation can be against you. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching today's Bible reading. Uh, next, um, on Saturday, well, <laughs> these videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. You could be watching this in 2025 or 2052, <laughs> for all I know, if Jesus tarries. Uh, but the next uh, uh, chapter we are reading is Jeremiah 31. Yes, Jeremiah 31 from the New Living Translation. God bless you. Until the next time, see you. Thank you.